You probably already know that there are not seven colours in the rainbow. Isaac Newton picked out seven colours because it was mystical, it resonated with seven musical notes and the seven days that he believed God took to create the Earth. You probably also already know that colours are continuous. Unlike that projection artwork, there isn't one pure red, one pure orange. In a real rainbow, you see all the wavelengths of light in between. But what you might not know is that a rainbow doesn't fade out at red and at violet. The EM wavelengths from the rainbow extend just a little way into the invisible bits of the spectrum. Not far, water will absorb proper infrared and ultraviolet, but you can see on what's called an absorption spectrum that liquid water will let through, and therefore refract into a rainbow, wavelengths slightly outside the ones we can see. If you take a photo of a rainbow with UV-sensitive film, you will see another bright band below violet. And there are people out there who don't have lenses in their eyes. Uh, they can still see with strong glasses on, but the UV filtering that the lens provides is gone, so they can see that extra band too. Now over there in the National Gallery are paintings by Claude Monet, who late in life had a cataract operation that removed the lens of his eye. And there is a strong argument that his paintings after that were brighter and bluer, the result of the near UV light that he could then see. There is one more question then. Why does water happen to let through just the light we can see? If it was set up any differently, water would be opaque to us. We might be blasted by hard UV light all the time and, and life would be, well, very different. The answer, of course, is that it isn't chance at all. Over hundreds of millions of years, our ancestors evolved those abilities. Our physics means that water happens to be transparent at some wavelengths, so sensing those wavelengths is an enormous advantage to life. The species we came from were much more likely to survive with the ability to see those wavelengths. Imagine if you couldn't see through rain. So, those who couldn't see those wavelengths, well, they died much more easily. Repeat that for an unimaginable number of generations and here we are, creating our own rainbows.